Hello once again, Corn Fam. Today I'm going to be starting the uh, video number two of the 3,000 wheat penny score. Um, we're going to be starting the bags that are teens through 50s today. Um, again, we're probably going to do about one bag per video. Um, I'm going to take them, I'm going to sort them by decade, and then turn around and sort them by actual date and mint mark. Um, if I see anything um, rare or any varieties that I, I will uh, look you back in on those. Once I'm done sorting them, I am going to sort them into tubes. I have a number of tubes labeled here, all ready to go. Um, as I get these full, I move them into another box here and I stack them up there. Now, once I get through all of these bags, I'm going to go through and I'm going to take the individual rolls, um, which are all sorted by both date and mint mark. I'm going to go into Variety Vista and I'm going to search each roll for any and all varieties that are on Variety Vista. That's why I like sorting them first. That way I can focus on just one date, one mint, and uh, get through that way. All right, again, I'll look you back in if I find anything interesting. Okay, fam, I am back. I've got all the 1950s sorted out, 1940s. This stack and this pile here are 1930s. These are 1920s. And I had just a few in the, in the teens. I had two from 1910. I had one from 1918. Six from 1919. 1919 San Francisco and absolutely the find so far is this one here Let's see if I can get the camera to play with us yeah we'll go put that on the scope for us it's a 1912 Denver I'm really excited about this one because in my book I do not have a 1912 Denver right here at only 10.4 minted. Someone is not one of my book. I look into my grandfather's book. And he's also has a hole there as well. So this is a great find because it fills a hole in my grandfather's collection. All right, guys, I'm gonna get these teens put into the tubes and then I'm gonna sort the 20s. All right, I'm back. From the 20s, we had an one, 1920, two from 1923, three from 1925, Five from 1926, two from 1927, Philadelphia, one 1927 from Denver, and one 1929. Now when we go to our albums, all of those are available except for the 1927 Denver at 27.2 million minted. And again, we go to my grandfather's collection, and here we did have one, although pretty beat up. So the good news is we get to add one to my book. I'm going to pull you in as soon as I'm done sorting the 30s. Okay, fam, I've got the 1930s wheat penny sorted. I had two from the 1934, five from 1935, five from 1936, all fillies. I had nine from 1937, one 1937S, four from 1938 with a 38D, and six from 39 with a 39S. Again, we compare this to the album, and I have all of those except for the 1938 Denver. Sorry, went over. I went 20 million minted. So not a terrible find. However, when there's a hole in this book, we always go to the next book and look at my grandfather's collection. And sure enough, 1938D has a hole. So yet again, a second fill for my grandfather's collection, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, let me get these plugged in. I will uh, get the rest of them tubed up, and then I'm going to move into the 1940s. Okay, corn fam, I am back. And um, not as many San Francisco mints in this bag, I'm seeing, as there was in the other ones. But, you know, that's okay. It's still a fun hunt. Um, I started getting some of the stacks of our Philadelphia mints a little too high, so I actually have them up here. Each one of these is, has 10 in it, 40s, 2 from 42, a third stack from 43, uh, sorry, one stack from the 40s, two from 41, one stack from 42, three from 44, two from 45, and two from 46. I just moved those up there just because I kept trying to knock them over and mess things up. Um, I also made myself a little template here just to keep things organized. Um, so I got the 1940s here, all the way to 49. I've got all of the Philadelphias and plenty of them with the exception of 1943. Remember all your 1943s were pretty much made out of steel. 
a lot of your coin sorters don't find them, so they don't usually turn up a whole lot in wheat penny grab bags. Um, I do have plenty of them in my collection, um, but they don't usually show up a whole lot in, in these kind of collections. I also have pretty much an entire mint set from the 40s of the Denver Mint, with the exception of 48. I seem to be missing that one. Um, not too sure why, but I do have plenty of those in the collection as well. And then San Francisco Mints. I got a few from the 40s, one from 41. I didn't get any 42s, 43s, or 44s in this bag, but I did a lot of the 42s and the 44s in the previous couple of bags, so had quite a few of those as well. Um, had one from 45, two from 46, two from 47, one from 48, and three from 49. Wait, one from 48? Remember that, hold on. Yep, we finally found it. That 1948S that I've been looking for. That fills the book. Here we go. I don't know, but I promise y'all, that's one of the best feelings for coin collecting, is pushing that last pin, that last coin into a collection. That's great. Holy cow. I am ecstatic. This is not my grandfather's book, which we flipped up a little while ago. This is my personal book that I've had for quite a while, and I finally filled it up. Awesome. I may have just knocked over a couple of my stacks in my haste. Now I think I'm okay. All right, guys. I'm going to get the rest of these all tubed up, and then I'm going to move on and sort the 50s. Okay, coin fam. I've got all the 1950s sorted. I pretty much got... All of them available in the 50s, except for the 54 from Philadelphia and the 51S. But all the others seem to be present, including what was once my nemesis, the 1955S. Um, as far as these go, that's probably the most rare one here. But some of the best finds of the 1950s is that 1954S that I had, uh, come on, there it is, and that I had found earlier and showed to you earlier. And this other, also just a really um, nice 1955 Denver. And a really nice uh, 1957 as well. Overall, a great hunt on that box. We filled three holes. I'm going to be upgrading two or three off of these as well. Um, so once again, happy hunting. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to uh, showing you the next bag here in a couple of days.